<clears throat> okay guys, today we're gonna be doing a new install. Um, these bad boys, LED strips. Just by looking at them, you're probably gonna just assume that these are gonna go underneath my dash for those swag points and for all them haters out there um, to light up their Nikes. But it is not, indeed it is not. Uh, I want to refrain from too much rice on this. I want the level of rice on this to be kind of like a um, Panda Express. It's just enough to leave you wanting more, but not quite enough to make you feel fulfilled. It's kind of what my grades did to my parents. Um, these are going to be for my third brake light. I'm going to go ahead and take the boring stock ones and try to make them more exciting. Uh, the ones that come stock on these things are just really lame. I'm not about it. I want to make it look great. Um, I guess you could say I want to make my taillights great again. That's me doing my Donald Trump hair, which I don't know if that's cool. Actually, this is YouTube, so it's probably not favored. Anyhow, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break into those bad boys right now. We're going to see what we have. I don't know anything about those lights or what I'm getting myself into, but like everything else, I use poor judgment and creativity to make almost every situation in my life a beneficial one. Okay, so I don't believe any project is to be started without a proper form of energy. I resort to Rockstar not just because of the fact that I aspire to be one, but also because of the good times. Guilt-free good times, might I add, because these are zero sugar, zero calorie, 240 milligrams of caffeine. Unlike that girl Rebecca I met in Tijuana. God, she was beautiful, but now I only have one kidney, so I mean you gotta weigh the good with the bad. And with this, um, generally you don't wake up in a bathtub filled with ice and regret and shame in the air and an overwhelming sense of disappointment from your mom. Here we are. So I got this bad boy out. It's uh, actually pretty dusty. I'm thinking that this might not be that bad though. 
I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into. That bulb might be burnt out actually, so I don't even think my third brake light was working. Should've done a before and after. No big deal, no big deal. So, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take out this one and this one right here. Those two screws appear to be holding in this red plastic. Normally I pay attention to the way everything goes in and the way it comes out, put it back together like a puzzle piece, exactly the way I took it apart. But thanks to the advancements in technology and fantastic video camera technology, I can just go back and look at the video feed. Now this tab should lift up. Two tabs over here. Six and a half hours later. I think this tab right here needs to be pushed in. That. Yep, 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 yep. Plus this. Yep, 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 yep. Boom. There it is. Okay, let's separate that. Now we're down to the task of figuring out how to separate these two, which hmm, looks like is not going to happen unless I break it. YOLO! Oh, snap, it didn't break. Okay, good. I'm going to take all this dust in here though, with any help in nothing. Let's clean out all this dust. I want to make sure the clean surface to attach to. So now that we have this, we're taking this bad boy out. She is no longer needed. Damn dude, you gonna embarrass me at every turn? Let's do this. Let's just pull this thing out. I don't know. That looks like it's burnt out. No worries. We have reinforcements. Okay, so I'm gonna take these bad boys right here. If any luck, we can get this open. I'm thinking we're only gonna be able to fit two in here. Or maybe three. You know what? It's looking like three will fit. Somehow, we're going to get three of these to fit in here. Because it does look like that'll work. We'll get three of these mocked up. What we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna find the most ideal placement for these. Obviously somewhere in the middle. We have this double stick glue tape. I mean really, it's double sided tape. Um, it's automotive grade stuff. Usually you use it on like body parts and so forth. But I am going to use it to attach these end pieces to the actual housing. I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to work yet, but uh, we'll figure it out.
Okay, so basically what we have is there needed to be some kind of backing for the LEDs, so you lay it in right. You still can't see them through the actual lens here, and this lens will be behind that lens, so it's going to be even more um, hidden. Uh, just to give you some perspective, we're looking at something like this, which obviously this needs to get cleaned up, but that's a task for another day. Right now what we're going to do is piece this back together, like so. Keep it like that. All of our lighting and everything will be hidden in here. Wires are going to go out, and then as they come out, they're going to connect to the connector itself. I just, uh, I didn't want to crimp it yet because I want to find out which one is positive and which one's negative. I put a positive sign on this piece of tape so that it gives us some perspective to go off of. Otherwise, needle in a haystack, gentlemen. Needle in a haystack. Let me tell you something. You don't want to be caught with your pants down sticking stuff in the wrong hole. Right. Ser seriously, though, no. don't do that. So we're going to go ahead, go out to the car, try and see which one of these goes where, test out our lights, and then finish installing it. just pretending to read a book about Obama. <laughs> uh, I prefer books with moving images, otherwise known as videos. Speaking of which, this is uh, my room of knowledge, otherwise known as Grandma's Basement. And that concludes this video. 3 out of 10 on Kevin's spectrum of difficulty. I believe you'll find that on any kind of LED installation, the thought can be daunting. But it's very much so possible. Sorry if this video was a little bit long, but there was a lot of breaking down and putting together. So it takes a little bit longer, but difficulty level, minimal. I, I'd say anybody can do it. Um, if you have any questions or would like to just hit me up and sponsor me with copious amounts of dollars and parts, then go ahead and do so. That'd be great. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.